This is KUT 90.5. I'm Matt Riley, and I'm downstairs in Studio 1A with Matt Drenick, who goes under the moniker Battle Me. What's happening, man? Hey, man. It's been a long time. Yeah, it has. You know, the first time I met you, you were in a band called The Good Looks. Yeah, I love that band. And you used to play at trophies all the time. Yeah, I miss that band. <laughs> miss that bar. <laughs> and then uh, you went on to Lions, and now you're uh, uh, performing under Battle Me. We'll get into all that in a minute, but let's, uh, let's hear a song first. What do you want to play? All right, cool. I'm going to play... Um... Uh, big score. Give me back that old man in the den. Make him cut out and shake out of his skin. It's a shakedown dialing baby Ooh, back then and It's a freak show dialing with the criminals I fell in Give me back that old man in the den Break his back and turn my souls from him Fight back my darling It's the big idea that wins Fight back my darling From the dream that I fell in Give me back that soft drug from your hand The city makes me look so young again and It's a cold idea, baby, who knew back then and It's a freak show, darling, with the criminals I fell in South of town where the big idea sets when I got the big score, baby, and I'm going out this town. Got the big score, baby, and I'm going out this town. Big score from Battle Me here in Studio 1A. Playing Thursday night, tomorrow night at the Cactus Cafe at 8.30. And the debut self-titled release comes out on April 24th. So, Matt, <laughs> when... Uh, Hit me. What's interesting is how subdued your new material is. compared Because you were in rock bands, like full on. You know, Lions was loud. The Good Looks was loud. That's funny that you should say that because that song was actually written on the last good looks record that never came out really yeah i played it for you because i thought you'd bring up the good looks okay <laughs> thank you <laughs> yeah you know um but it's also on a battle me record too okay and so you have since moved from austin to portland right yeah yeah i have i um i uh Got in some really, uh, had a bad time down here with some health issues, and uh, it just happened to work out that Lions was kind of falling apart at the time. And when I had uh, kind of decided to move out west um, is when I kind of started embracing some of these songs, you know, that I'd always kind of written. And I think that, you know, as a musician, you kind of, you get pigeonholed nowadays. Mm -hmm. You know, there's different niches and people want to hear a certain thing. And, um, you know, I just decided that, you know, I didn't really care what anyone was going to say anymore. You know, I just wanted to write songs. And I was always attracted to the song more than the sound, I guess, is all, you know, as musicians kind of go forth. Well, talk a little bit about, if, if you don't mind, your, your illness. So um, when I was... Touring with Lions, we were on a uh, road show with the Toadies down in Atlanta, and I kind of popped out of the van. 
Um, everything was going pretty well with the band at the time. I looked up in the sky and I saw a lot of black spots all over the sky. Kind of ignored it for about six months, thought it was sweat or, you know, fatigue, whatever. And then it just didn't go away. So finally I kind of um, went to a, a doctor in town here and they kind of diagnosed me with an um, uh, autoimmune disease called uveitis, which is it's kind of an inflammatory disease that affects the eyes. It's where, you know, all the inflammation in your body kind of manifests itself in your eyes. Sure. Instead of like asthmas in the lungs and so arthritis you, is in your bones. So it gives you spotty vision. Essentially. Yeah, yeah. Essentially, you know, it kind of, um, you know, at first you get floaters and you get kind of weird things happening with your vision. You start to see things um, in a different way and then they try to treat it, you know, and different doctors have different uh, formulas to treat it. But at that point, you know, it kind of progressed for a couple of years and then it got, it kind of went crazy on me when I went to Europe with lions the last time. And so, I mean, was it to the point where you couldn't see? Yeah. My left eye went out and, um, you know, we were on tour, probably playing one of the biggest venues I'd ever played, uh, Coco in London. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I couldn't see out of my left eye and my right eye was going out because I had this huge cataract in it. So it was kind of a life changing moment right there. Well, does that, so what I'm wondering is, did that sort of calm you down, and did it? Make yeah, it, it did. did. it make it so that you were being a little more introspective and being more yeah, of a songwriter? Yeah, I, I, I think you know that. Um, I think that you know bands kind of form um, depending on what kind of mood the songwriter is in at the time, and mm -hmm. I think when the good looks was around, it was a very kind of happy, optimistic time. We were know? all in our young twenties. Exactly. You know? you know, everything was cool. We were playing bars. You know, hundred <laughs> bucks. Oh, that's fine. I don't care. I, I'm in college. You know, it just didn't really matter. And then when we got into, um, you know, when that band broke up, I was I was broken hearted. And so the only thing I knew how to do was I wanted something loud with a big muff. And then I kind of wrote all these songs for Lions in three weeks. We opened up for Fu Manchu, and then it was I was a stoner rock kid mm -hmm. for you know the next six years. I, I don't know how it <laughs> happened, but you know I just kind of woke up in London with my eye out and thinking, wow, I need to kind of change. My doctors kind of made me um, change my lifestyle too. They kind of broke it down for me. Sure, you know you need to stop doing this. You need to stop doing that. If you're doing this, you need to stop. You know, a lot of a lot of different things, uh, anything from like dietary issues to, uh, you know, stress levels to all mm -hmm. that. It all, yeah, it's all connected. It's all connected. So, yeah. And, and now looking back on it, I'm I'm super happy. You know, things happen for a reason. You well, know? you look great. So, thank you. I, I, <laughs> you I wouldn't want to I wouldn't want to fight you right now. No, come on. I'm just a skinny little white kid. <laughs> well, I'm here with Battle Me in Studio 1A. You can catch uh, Battle Me at the Cactus on Thursday night at 8.30. The new album comes out April 24th. What do you want to play next? I'm going to play the first song I kind of uh, wrote for this new record, the song called Killer High, about leaving Austin and my friends behind. And it just happens to be.